Hey, what's up? It's Jake from Nimbus DevOps, and we're going to go over question 1.5. Given two strings, write a function to check if they are one edit or zero edits away. So that would be like um, if I had the word, let's say I have two strings. String one is the word string, and string two is the word strings. Well, if I got rid of this S, it would be the same, so that's one edit away. If it was strings, well, I'd have to delete all these, and that's not one edit away. If it was strung, I could change this one letter, and it would be one edit away. If they're the same, then it's within zero edits away, and it, then that would also mean the case. So we need to write a function to test this. So let's let's try this. So my solution was a little longer than I wanted it to be, but uh, we'll see if a I can remember what I did and <laughs> b if it works. So um, I know what I want to do is I want to make a function called one away. So I'm going to print out uh, the call from one away, and I'm going to compare string one and string two. Okay, I know I'm going to do that, which means I need a function called one away that takes the argument s1 and s2. What is this function going to do? Well, um, I could go if, you know, we're comparing these, if the length of this and this one are, are different by uh, greater than one, then they can't be one away, right? Like if it had two S's at the end, that can't be one away. So I could do that. So I'll say um, if, and, and I need to be able to compare both. So instead of using two if function or if um, conditions, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the absolute value of the length of S1 minus the length of S2 is greater than one. Then, oops, how did I do that? Absolute value, boop, there we go, greater than one. Then return false. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so let's say that they are the same. Uh, length. So we'll do elif the length of s1, geez, length of uh, s1 is equal to the length of s2. Then we're going to return, uh, well, we don't want to return true. We want to return, we're going to need a function. So we'll say one away same length. And we'll, and we'll be able to check that, like if the letters are different or something, passing S1 and S2. So which means I now need a function called one away same length that takes arguments S1, S2, and then does something. Okay, so what if they're not the same length? So we could say if the length of S1 is greater than the length of S2, then maybe we have a different function, one away diff length that takes S1, S2. And then uh, I'd probably do like an elif, the length of S1 is less than the length of S2. And then I think what I'll do is I'll say one away diff length and I'll use the same function, but I'm going to reverse the arguments, and that should work. So now I need another function, define one away diff length that takes argument s1, s2, and then that should work. So hopefully this makes sense down here at the bottom. Um, I should be able to say if, if this one's bigger, then pass s1, s2. If this one's smaller, pass s2, s1. So I think that'll make more sense once I show you what this looks like. Okay, so let's we'll start with same length. So if they're the same length, um, I think what my approach is going to be is to use a counter and say, hey, for the however long the the word is, if the first letter doesn't equal the second letter, then iterate, then then increment my counter, and if my and, and keep doing that and if my counter gets bigger than one then it's not one away so let's try that so count uh, equals zero and we'll say for i in range length s1 
for i oops for i in range there we go uh, s1 we'll say if we're uh, what did I call this s1 uh, I doesn't equal s2 I then count plus equals one and then while we're here we don't need to keep checking if it's if it gets bigger than one so if counts bigger than one then just return false it's not within one edit and then at the end of all that if it makes it through then just return true because it is within one edit so hopefully that makes sense uh instantiate a counter equals set it to zero for every letter or at least for every number in the range of however long the first word is assuming the first word is is longer like i did here right then if the first letter is equal to the first letter of the other one then great if it's not then increment my counter if i need to increment my counter more than once then they're not within one edit away and if it makes it all the way through my counter doesn't go over one then it is within one edit away and that makes sense so that would be the same length so now we need to do one away diff length so this one's a little different i am going to need an i value to zero and i'm going to need a count to zero and a better way to do that is just to say i equals count equals zero that's just shorter and then what i'll do is i'll use a while loop and i'll say while well, i is less than the length of the second uh one assuming the second one is shorter um if s1 i because this one's longer plus my counter is exactly equal to s2 i then i plus equals one and then else count plus equals one and then if my count again is greater than one then just return false and if all that's good then return true okay so let me explain what i was what, I, what i'm thinking so i have i and count they're both zero and if you look at like string for example right so they're different lengths so let's say that the uh this one's like stringy right or yeah stringy so if so i is zero and the length of s2 is six so i is less than six so we're going to continue so if s at index and i is zero and my count is zero so index zero so the first letter is equal to the second word index zero or index i which is zero which it is then I can increment i by one so it does that so it goes okay that's true so i'm going to skip this else condition and i'm going to go back through my while loop because i is now one one is less than six so i'm going to try if s at index one because i is one and count is still zero equals s2 index one which it does which is true i increments and i is now two and it's going to keep doing this through index zero one two three four five right and now it's saying if i is uh five less than six which is true so if index five and index five are equal great and then i becomes six so now it's saying that six is less than six which is not true and i i probably for this one should put stringy down here there we go that'll make more sense so then if that's if that's not true it's going to increment the count by one and that count is not greater than one so it'll go back up to the top and now i is five and count is one so s1 actually no i was right it should be up here s1 is now at index six because i is five and count is one which is this guy is exactly equal to this which it's not it's going to not do this it will go to count two if it needs to but it won't because it's going to finish here so that should work in theory um, and if i do the same thing but i reverse which one is longer 
um, if S1 is less than S2, like here, I'm just going to pass them backwards. I don't know why I have colons here. Um, I'm going to pass the S2 first. So in here, this might make more sense if I call this like word one and word two. So if I do that, maybe maybe that'll make more sense. Word one and word two. Which, if you didn't know this, you can you can name things differently inside of your function than the argument that you're passing. So it's expecting a word one and word two. So we're gonna pass s2 and s1. So s2 becomes word one. S1 becomes word two. Hopefully, maybe this makes more sense. So that goes through this process, and it does the same exact thing. Uh, depending on which one is longer or shorter, it uses the same function. But instead of writing a second function or a third function, I just reverse the order of the arguments that I'm passing. So let's see if this works. Uh, let's see here. True, it's within one edit away. What if I make it two Ys? False. Why is it false? Because it, it said that the absolute value was greater than one. So what if I do strung true, which is true because I just need to edit that one thing. What if I make this one longer? It should be true, and it's true. If I make it too long, absolute value is greater than one. If I make this strung, it's still true. It's within one edit. If I make this uh, shrug, shrugs same length false because i would have to change a lot of letters so this seems to work work okay so hopefully that makes sense um and 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 how i use this one function reversing the arguments to save it's like to reuse my code so that was the way that i solved this i don't know if you have a better way of doing it then feel free to share but that's how i did it and if you have any questions, of course, just let me know.